do, do, do. Hey, we're live. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hello. Jim Megan, husband, here to do some cool, crafty stuff. Yeah, we have ideas. This is a project the husband found. I've seen it. Yeah. Scrolling one of the social stuffs. Yeah. And he said, hey, I know what I want to do this Friday. It's Oogie doogie. <laughs> so, <laughs> Actually, she went, um, okay. That's true. <laughs> Usually you have to be a little cautious She's before little just being like, yeah, let's same. do it. Um, but then I noticed that I would have to go to the craft store and get some supplies, so it was all right. Everything was good then. Mm -hmm. Um, Maybe we just show them. We'll switch over then. Mm -hmm. So um, in case you were new here, we do all sorts of different kinds of crafty things. Um, we kind of touch everything, <laughs> but our primary is we show you how to use chalk couture. So it's um, the silk screen, reusable stencils and washable paste, washable off of certain surfaces. You can tell we are using paper, not washable off of paper. <laughs> Just I mean, you can record. try and eventually the paper, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing is like wash awayable. That's maybe <laughs> the word. Um, <laughs> So I actually saw cool little envelopes that were, I don't know they were, I don't know what kind of paper they were. They probably had all the pre-done stuff on it. You know the words I'm looking for, scrapbook paper like. So it already had all the pictures on there. What's up, T? Hello. Um, and then they had this cool ribbon that went around and a wax stamp thingy. Wax seal. Wax seal right in the middle. So I said, I like fire. So we're gonna burn stuff and make a wax seal. And I have water standing by. <laughs> just in case we burn too much. <laughs> um, so one of the, when we were looking at the picture, we were kind of dissecting it and figuring out all the bits and pieces. Um, so we had to figure out, we got, can you show them the envelopes? I went to the craft store and got envelopes. Um, so they're like, they're super white. And this project kind of looks a little like shabby chic, a little. Um, Olded is the way you replaced it. That is the word that I used earlier. Olded. It was. It was Folded. So these were way too white. You can tell we did a little thing to not whiten them, to old them. That's what I said. There's some good words today, people. Yeah. Uh, um, so we tried a couple of things. So this was the original, bright, bright white. We don't, we don't like that. Too white. So then we took, um, we have this dark wax. And this stuff is really cool. This is kind of like Teresa's um, antique wax. But ours is a paste and husband tested it on this envelope and it came out really it came out actually pretty cool so this would give that a really old feel um really olded it was definitely olded what i realized was that we did the wrong side <laughs> <laughs> but we combined that actually with an ink pad so like you can't really yeah, maybe there you can see so see like all this edging part was done with the ink pad. But it was a little too much. Too stark of a contrast. Yeah, for what we wanted to do. Um, so I had heard, I had had heard. Seen somebody do somewhere. Yeah, um, to use coffee to stain paper. Now it actually reminded me when I used to work in an office, I would um, end up with coffee stains on papers and <laughs> I'm like, ah, that's kind of what we want. So that's actually literally what we did. It doesn't look like much unless you put a white piece. I was going to say, it doesn't look like much to unless you go like that. Yeah. So it just kind of gave it almost aged parchment, tanny sort of feel. And I tried to do a coffee ring on this one, but it didn't really come out real well. When you want coffee rings, you can't make them. Yeah. When you don't want coffee rings, there they are. The, um, Oh. Need words. No, uh, I think they're gone. <laughs> anyway, so transfer that we have is actually so, one of the new ones. Yeah, so we're going to use this. It's got, it's the etched butterflies transfer, which shockingly not um, sold out huh. on launch day because it's freaking gorgeous. But we, the letters kind of made me remind me of the scrapbook paper stuff that he had had. Yeah. Did you use the grounds or the liquid? We went with straight up liquid. Um, you did have to saturate them pretty good and then go back through and dry them. So when they were drying, they wanted to curl up. So I just kind of heated them, turned them as we were drying them, and it seemed to flatten them down pretty good. 
fair thing to do is it kind of stuck this together. So if you want to make it functional, put something in between there so it doesn't make the glue adhesive. You know what I realized? That we had the things to stuff these to make them batter. Oh no, and then I glued them yeah. shut. Yeah. Okay, so you should put something in between it so it doesn't glue them shut. These ones we can open. They're yeah, we'll get them open. Seal, but anyway. Um, butterflies. You're having a good day. I am. Brain <laughs> has... So we were thinking about doing two of them and kind of doing a double stack like this. And we took some of our handy dandy local advertisements. Oh, damp brown. This Use is damp browns next time. This is oh. pretty much exactly the color we were going for. Yeah. So we're 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 good with this. But if I do want a deeper, darker make it more brownish. Yeah. But we'll get those open. We can put those stuff those in and kind of give them yeah. a little fuller. Um hmm. So anyway, we're going to do two different sets because I had an idea. I want to use a color on one of mine, and he's not going to want to use that color. I use black. Black the color. <laughs> well, I'm going to use black, too, Ooh. but a little differently. See, this is still kind of sticky. So going on paper, we should probably oh, try not to knock everything over when we're grabbing it. We need to wax these. We didn't wax these. Okay. I will fuzz the transfer. Okay. You do the waxing. Okay. Because with paper, you got to do both. Yep. Yeah, I, I, words are hard today, guys. At least I know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, you don't. I can't tell you what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. Oh, my goodness. She's, oh, that's what I was going to say. We moved on too quickly from it. Um, I was talking about the butterflies and things, and I was just going to tell you all to go back and watch last week's video because we did a really, really cool thing. Oh, that one came out good, too. With the with butterflies. The yeah. with paper. Yep. Again. Look at that. Same transfer, same medium. Yeah. So. Did you buy a wax applicator from launch? I did not because only because I have a crap ton of these left. So I will buy one of those when it's when I'm done with we'll these. Yep. Did you Oops. Amazon those or where did you get those? These I got from yeah. Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I will also say that the ones from chalk are the same price as the individual. Oh, there you go. So, so if we're getting the truck products anyway, it's the same price. Yeah, and I couldn't find I couldn't find on Amazon a single one. I ended up with like 24 pack. 24. It was a little bit extra. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, do you think straight? Do you think a little crooked for the letters? Stamp? I think I'm gonna put the stamp in there. What do you think? You think We've crooked got, or straight? I'm oh, not telling step. you. You run yours. I know what I'm doing with mine. Yeah, she is. I come up with the whole idea for the whole project. She can't help me on one piece. I'm going to go crooked. Okay. I was going to say, I can tell you that your inspiration piece was straight. Oh. If you care. If that I don't matters. Care. We've already stuck it down in the paper. It's time to go now. It's go time. That's right. You waxed it good. She's not sticking much at all. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of the old pasty. I wax all over the table. We're going to have to clean that oh, later. Oh, my God. You make a mess. You can't do nothing. I'm a hot mess today, friends. <laughs> you are a hot mess today. It's been a day. The hair. I have uh, fussed with the hair for... 20 minutes before we press the live button. At least. And that's only the third time I've done it today. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up. You know what I would highly suggest? Mm. Getting something to put underneath this so it doesn't go on the table. Um. I'm about to chalk on our table. But guess what? Well, we got to wash, wash the wax off, off anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So I've decided I want to put a pretty little girl fish square on these. So he's got black. I'm going to use the black too. Um, but I've also got berry. Ooh. Ooh is right. So I'm going to do some background butterflies in the berry. Purplish? Purplish. And mine is sealed down so I'm just gonna I'm gonna follow the all right let's see if this worked or if it bled everywhere oh that came out kind of cool oh that looks good right you know clean I like the little stamp on there now are you going to do this in black or do you need me to I wash am. this I'm gonna do it in black I will set it over here ready for you yeah that okay. came out cool it's always cool when you can on the paper. It's neat to be able to transfer it over. Okay, so then we have twine around, right? Mm -hmm. Use the brown. Are you gonna do two of them? 
they weren't they weren't bound together. They bound individually, and then stacked. Do you think bind them together? I don't know. I I didn't have this planned out. <laughs> Clear. You have a Zoom tonight too. Laugh out loud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's over in the collab group. If you guys aren't there, go check it out. Yeah. Link or below above, depending on what platform you're using. You get to see how well my brain functions at seven o'clock at night. Eastern time. We're going live. We're going to do a project over there too. Um, I have an idea for a project. That might change my mind. Shocking. Two minutes before I press the line button, so we have to scramble. Well, yeah. And that's okay. Duh. All right. <clears throat> so we also had, you guys can let us know what you think. Jamie got these that are kind of marble wax candlesticks. You're supposed to just light them on fire, drip oh, them on right. paper, and then stamp them. I say when they melt, it's going to turn to just a light gray. I think the colors are going to mix. She thinks they're going to stay marbled. I don't see how melting them would stay marbled. What do you think? Yeah, this is this is totally up for debate because we have never we've never done anything with um, wax seal things yeah. before. I literally had to buy them, and we were trying to like DIY one, but then we remembered that it's inverted, so meaning the image that you would stamp into the wax is not a traditional stamp. It gets pushed it's the reverse. The wax pushes into the stamp instead of the stamp pushing into the wax. Okay. That made sense in my brain. I don't know if it actually <laughs> uh, Who knows? <laughs> okay. So that'll stay like that. I think all we have to do is light that, drip yep. it on there, stamp, right? Oh, we have to put a little water, right? Water on yep. the stamp thingy. I'm going to close this block up so it doesn't dry out. Oh, we're making a mess. Hey, <laughs> T. Yeah. Teresa's <laughs> blue bond. <laughs> There's that. Okay. Where's our lighter? I know we grabbed right it. Oh, there we go. It's a bonfire lighter. <laughs> this is that one's still wet. Okay. Now I get to play with fire. Can I have that before you light the world on fire? What would you like? The transfer. You can. Geez, I'm the one making noises today. I know. I turn mine on mute. So we're just going to do a quick overview of the instruction safety. We don't need that. <clears throat> Additional instructions. Hold the bottom of the wax stick, then light the wick. Note, this continues wax stick when only one inch demand remains. Don't burn your fingers, in other words. <laughs> Holding the wax stick at the downward angle, less than one inch above the envelope. Let the wax strip to the right location, small puddles, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully now, we got this. Light it on fire, let it drip. Yeah. We can do that. Last time we burned something, the house smelled for like two days. Okay, so it's supposed to puddle right on the thing there. Oh, there it goes. Did you guys vote for marbling or non-marbling? I forgot to pay attention. You did. Guys, today is hard. Today is very hard. You know what? This I expected this to melt much quicker. It's not melting that quick. Really? Yeah, I mean, you're holding the candle upside down. I think it's thicker. Oh, will you put water in there? Yes, I will. I think it's thicker than like a traditional candle wax, so that when you stamp it, it kind of stays. Mm. So, bear with me. We're going to uh, make a puddle. Make a puddle. <laughs> that looks good, the pinkish color. In the... Yeah, I, I wanted a little color. Just a little. Okay, we're gonna try this. A little water. Get the thank you the right direction. Oh boy. Oh boy. What happened? It didn't work. Oh no. <laughs> it cooled down too fast on this, and I think the underside kind of just didn't hold together. Oh, so okay. I don't think you actually finished reading the directions. You're supposed to stick the stamp in it and leave it for for like a few seconds. See what you get when you don't read directions. That's okay. We have a round two. <laughs> so I will pre-cut string. Do you want me to cut your string for you? Um, no, I can do it. All right, back with you then. Thank you. I'm just focusing over here. I'm trying to follow the folds so that it looks like the paper was already 
Oh, so it kind of went underneath and it was stacked yeah. previously. So like this, I actually didn't want that to be there, but it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that part. It's too late, baby. It's too late. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're getting songs today too, apparently. But that's birdie. I got to use that on this one too. Oh okay. no, you go for it. Your turn. You go ahead and make another. Oh, it's coming out pretty. I like this. I'm happy with this. This is cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm going to try and do this just okay. on the triangle piece. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's going to work or not. It's hard to see. It's hard. To, yeah, it's hard to see where it ends. Do you want? I'm going to guess and go. Okay, good. Because you know, even if it has a little ragged edge, I think it'll look fine because it's olded. Right? Yeah. It's a new word. Uh, where's Telly? New words, Telly. <laughs> I think it's going to look good. Just on the top, and I'm going to do the little stampy bit. This guy? Yeah. Ooh, you know what? I kind of want that number 34. We'll try that piece of it. Will you cut that piece out for me? I can. Probably need scissors, huh? Yeah. We are well prepared. It's all good. My scissors are always in reach because they're teal. God forbid. Okay. Do you want both bits or just? Look at that. I kept it right Ooh. on the top part. I like that too because look, it didn't completely. Faded, yeah, because the transfer. I don't know if you guys can see down through it. It's starting to get filled up, so we should really wash it. Nope. Hey, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. You're gonna, you want yours to be faded like that too? Mm -hmm. So it kind of gave it where the screen's getting dirty, it kind of gave it another old, another faded look. <laughs> So you can totally use the screens a couple times. I flipped it a little for you too. Oh, thank you. Um, you can totally use your screens a couple of times before you wash them. But what is happening is that because we're taking so long in between, it's starting to dry into the screen, which is not a big deal um, until you're trying to get that nice crisp. Get right. It's, if you're looking for a super crisp thingy, then I would suggest washing it. But if, you're not, but if you're not, then just keep it going. And that is what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to do what you did on your first one with this one on the bottom. Just going to. That looks cool. I like that. Okay. Now it's time to burn some wax again. And this time, we'll try and follow the directions. Quote, unquote. Sort of. Follow. <laughs> Let's see what happens. You know what? I don't think I'm going to string this one. I think I'm just going to put the wax seal on it. Okay. You think that was the problem before? No, I think it was mostly because I didn't pay attention and pulled it up. But yeah, I mean, when it's thicker like that, it takes longer to heal. Heal? How about dry? <laughs> it's a day. It's been a day. Thank God it's uh, Friday. Oh my God. It's been a week. It has too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I'm going to use this big. Seriously? Is it a trick candle? <laughs> it won't light again. It's like one of those birthday candles that won't go out. I will burn you with the torch. That works. Actually, it works really good. Because I'm getting a good pool going this time. See? Just needed a little jump start. There we go. Well, that's what I was wondering if it, if the wax started to dry. And you know uh, what? It's keeping the marbling pretty well. Oh, I forgot we're even paying attention to that. I know. It's the second time you forgot. I've forgotten all the things today. All the things. Okay, stop dripping. Stop dripping. <laughs> yeah, it's real <laughs> smoky in here. <laughs> okay, right side up. Pop down in there. Right. And let it sit. We recommend very well ventilated areas. <laughs> Don't do it in the middle of your house. <laughs> <laughs> or at least not in the middle of winter when you can't right, open the windows. Window. That's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. How long do you think I ought to let it sit? Does it give you a time on here? Boy, it helps if you're ready, huh? It did. Um, For five to ten seconds. Yeah. Just like five or ten. Whip this wax seal straight up, it says. Oh, that worked much better. I think the, the string in the middle does not help. And I think it also holding that in the water so it cools down the 
Oh, I worked. Can you see it? Can you see the? It's kind of hard to read. It's hard to read because of the marbling, but it says thank you in there. Also, if you get the water off of there, it kind of helps. Yeah. Very cool. I cannot believe that it really did hold on to the marbling. I thought for sure that was going to be gone. And see, we'll just cover up the one that didn't stick real well. <laughs> <laughs> so we were supposed to put inside of these um, little flyer thingies, stuff them so that they were a little puffier. Um, but that didn't. We didn't do that. Well, we also didn't think because we put them together with wax, they kind of stuck together and didn't really want to come back apart. Did you get yours? I want to at least puff up one of them. Okay. I need. What do you need? I don't know. I was thinking I need a knife to just gently. I don't. I think that's a bad idea. I think it is too. It's about the best you're going to get. Oh. You can do it. What if I open the top? Let's sure, why not, again. right? I'm going to wreck it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we just made it. Now we're going to destroy it. So enjoy the pretty right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to wreck it. Because I'm going to just tear it apart. Very gently tear it apart. There you go. You got it. The paper softened, too, from being so wet. Yeah. So it should open up pretty good. Oh. Oh. I'm being very delicate. So it's kind of a cool little custom envelope you can make. Yeah. I really like the wax seal. Yeah. Okay. So we just took one of the BJ's flyers. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it, I want it puffy. So it looks like there's letters in there. You get it? Oh yep. There. Now glue stick that closed, I think. There you go. That was my backup plan. Sure. My backup plan. I don't think you had that plan until you looked over and saw the glue stick, but sure. No, I thought of it earlier <laughs> when I realized it was messed up. <laughs> okay. Are you going to wax seal yours? Yep. Okay. I will work on getting the wax to okay. start again. I don't think I'm going to use the press. I think I just, because I want it, I want the string. Because you want to. Oh, okay. Well, string. you don't have to put the wax seal over the string. Tie the string on and then put the wax seal over it. Right over the corner or something, or do the string on the corner. Say all that again. <laughs> you want to use the wax seal, but you also want to use the string. Yeah. So the wax seal does not have to go on the string like I did it. Do the wax seal to the side, the string in the center. Good. Or you could just do whatever you want because that's what you're going to do anyway. I have a very specific vision in mind. She's a lot. I am a lot. But you love it. <laughs> Even a different twine. Just because. You can tie them both right together? Yep, I am. Oh, there you go. Put a little glue stick, stick them together. Yep. I'm gonna glue stick these beasts together. And then I'm gonna do it this way so that I can make sure I don't have too much glue stick sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck to the table. Yeah. We got enough cleaning to do on the table today already. Yeah, I know. I made a mess today. <laughs> oh, pretty. Okay. And I'm going to do... I want to do it this way. You're trying to do a pretty bow, aren't you? Well, I've got a plan. Let's try the wax thing again. Okay. I would like it here. On the string? Yep. Uh-oh. We have another. We might need another. Come on! Drippy drippies. Drippy drippies. You said on the string, correct? Yep. Okay. I also love the fact that it's your phone going off today instead of mine. Here we go. Drippy, drippy, drippy. It's not super expedient, drippy, drippy, but we're getting there. We'll give it a little help. There we go. Turbo charged. <laughs> How much you like? That's probably good. Okay. It smells like a candle. Funny how that works when you burn. Shut up. <laughs> you got it? 
Yeah, now I'm just watching the colors. So this, my guy, the guys, this is actually um, wildly entertaining. Watching the colors swirl because it's the marbled string or uh, wax. I don't know how they keep it from melting into one. Yeah. I just wanted to hold the string for me. Oh, there you go. Here, I'll do this. Okay, that's even better. That way you can pull on it. Because I got a little one of these. That I want to add in. Right? Sure. Brains got to got to tie a real other thing first. Jeez. Make a nut. Put another nut. Ah, a hard day today, guys. I got another finger. Thank you. <sighs> Team effort. Speaking of which, I don't read this darn thing. I suppose. True story. <laughs> oh. There. And let's be honest, I chose my colors because I wanted to use this. <laughs> yep, that was you know what you're supposed to do. Pick one thing you like and use that throughout the rest of the yeah. thing. That's so, yeah, kind of how I do it. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. That's how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way it happens. This definitely feels like a piece of string that you get like from the post office when you have way too many packages or letters. Yeah, yeah they bind all your stuff up together. Let me go pick it up. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Quick little snip. Oh, I like it. All right, let's see it. There you be. We got chick version and dude version. <gasps> I think mine's way cooler. And paste and wax all over. All over. Corner. Switch back over. You think that's dry enough to pick up? We'll yeah. find out when you pick oh, it up. Oh. That part's not. <laughs> Bing. Oh, they look much better on the other camera because these lights just kind of kill it. Yeah. Are you happy? You are awesome. This is exactly what I had in my brain. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's scary. Well, thanks for coming to hang out with us, guys. And uh, again, if you like seeing some of them, check out the group. Come hang out with us. Have a good time and uh, have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye, Bye guys.